Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I got a wisdom tooth taken out, so right now I'm still like in the recovery process, but I wanted to give you guys some, or at least a decent video. So next week, my girlfriend and I are going to Cancun. So I'm basically gonna be doing what I'm packing for Cancun. So let's start off simple. Let's start off with t-shirts. So the first t-shirt I have is my Nike basically workout t-shirt because there is a gym at the resort that we're staying at and it's just a comfortable t-shirt. I know Cancun's going to be super hot so that's why I'm expecting to like wear that maybe even outside the gym etc. I also am bringing a t-shirt from Muji. Uh, Muji is a minimalist Japanese brand that essentially has everything, I guess. Um, it is an all-around pretty good brand. You guys should check it out. Their apparel is pretty decent and pretty cheap. So it's pretty, I say it's a tier below Uniqlo, but it's cheaper than Uniqlo as well. And I'm also going to be bringing my Reigning Champs t-shirt. So this is definitely like one of my favorite t-shirts of all time. It's just so comfortable. It is a thicker weave or it is a thicker cotton and it has like reinforced stitching. So it's just been with me forever. So that's just going to be my reliable gray t-shirt. Next up, let's go for tops. So tops, I'm bringing three Hawaiian t-shirts. All of them are from Zara. I'll try to find a link to all of those guys in the description down below. Same with all the other products. But I'm bringing three Hawaiian t-shirts from Zara. They're just really quick, really simple. I love the colors on them. I love the red one. And I think the light blue one is definitely my favorite. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that. And I'm also bringing a Uniqlo U. I think it was two seasons ago, um, a Uniqlo U uh, short sleeve shirt, which is kind of like a Hawaiian shirt, but the graphic sort of like a distorted kind of noise graphic. I'm not sure how to really describe it. And I'm also bringing two long sleeve t-shirts. One is from J. Crew. It is a linen t-shirt, or not t-shirt, a linen shirt. This is more for relaxing and if I do feel like dressing up a little bit more. And the other one is also from J. Crew, but it is more of like a slim fit. So in case we want to go out to a fancy dinner at the resort, um, I can just chuck that on and put some pants on and then I'll look specific as fuck, boy. Wow, I really can't talk. That feels so weird. Uh, yo, getting your fucking um, wisdom tooth taken out fucking sucks. Especially because of like the recovery time. This is my like, third day after and it's just like... Still makes me feel a little bit weird. Like exerting, exerting myself. Mm -hmm. So next let's talk about pants. So I am bringing my handy dandy notebook. I am bringing my ever so trustworthy Nike cropped cargo trousers. So these guys have been with me forever. And the belt that I'm wearing is from my good friend Chris, who are his Instagram tag is at Chris JSW. He is the creator of the brand underscore coded. He made me a bag or not a bag. He made me a belt and it's just been my go to belt. Um, I'm thinking about ordering one more from him, but it's just such an amazing belt. It's like a double, I guess double, um, I don't know what to call it, man. I'm going to be fully honest. It's a super awesome fidlock buckle, really quick, super easy to release. And it's just that. And you know, my trousers have just been with me forever. And it's just such a reliable pair of pants that I just love it. Next up, I have a corduroy blue trouser from Zara. I got it tapered and cropped. So this is more for like those fancy nights. I can definitely see myself pairing that with the linen shirt. It's going to be super dope. Uh, hopefully it isn't that hot to the point to where I can't even wear a long sleeve shirt at night. So I'm praying for that. Next up, I have a Uniqlo cropped uh, dry. I think it was their quick dry stuff. I did do a review on it a bit a while ago, but yeah, it is perfect for the summer, perfect for the heat. And if I do get wet in it, you know, in case we're going to be by the beach, it's going to dry up real quick. Next up, I have an Acne Studios cropped bottoms. It's just plain black cropped jeans. Um, nothing too special about it. I can just chuck it on in case we go out into the city and we're just kind of chilling around there. So that's that.
I have two bottoms. I just have my swim trunks, which have pelicans on it. And I have um, an exercise, I guess, tight jogger. And I have my Nike exercise shorts, which can also work as, I guess, swim shorts if I really do want to. And I just have a fuck ton of socks that I'm bringing with me. Um, like you guys, if you guys know me, then I love my no-show socks. It's just an essential. I love stands, uh, but they are a bit pricey. And I do have an alternative that is a lot cheaper and that is sold on Amazon. I'll link that in the description down below. It's very cheap and it's sort of like a throwaway sock. Not really, like I've been using them for a while, but like if they get lost, they get lost. You don't really fret about it. It's just very thin, very minimal, very, um, yeah, it's just cheap. It's a good pair of socks. I'm bringing my Aoku belt as well, as well as my MacBook 13 inch. So the two bags that I'm essentially gonna be carrying is my John Elliott duffel bag. I think I can fit everything that I have in my duffel bag, as well as Mission Workshop Monty backpack. Those two are gonna be the two bags that I'm carrying. I don't think I'm gonna be having a check-in bag or a check-on bag. Um, I just have one carry-on and one personal item and I think I should be Gucci. God, did I just fucking say that? It's, f it's fucking 2018, Kevin. Oh, almost forgot. Let's talk about footwear. The main pair of footwear that I am gonna be wearing is the Common Projects Achilles Low. I just got a new pair of these guys. Uh, my last pair I wore them a bit and then I sold them. This pair I'm planning to keep for a while, or at least keep for good maybe. Um, it's just an all white basic pair of shoes. I think they'll just work well with anything whether or not I want to dress up, dress down. But I do have my workout shoes that I am bringing with me. I didn't do a review of these guys but I was going to. Um, this is the Nike Plus Member exclusive um, Nike Nike, Nike Epic um, React Flynet, I believe. They just have such convoluted namings. Um, I wanted it to be more of like a moccasin type of top. So I removed the laces and I think they look a lot better because the laces really didn't do much because uh, the upper is already tight in itself. And this has just been like an amazing pair of shoes. Just this has gone through with me for, I mean, Pretty much when this shoe released, I was like one of the first few people to get it. And I just wore these into the ground. These are my gym shoes. These are my commuter shoes. These are just everything. These are honestly my daily beaters. Um, I don't have a lot of problems with the sole wearing down. Um, I haven't slipped. I haven't died yet. Um, but I'm emotionally dead. But yeah, these guys are gonna be my second pair of shoes that I'm gonna be carrying. And my third pair, I guess, if you can even call them, are my Birkenstock sandals. So I don't think I need to show you guys that. It's just a cheap pair of Birks. They're just all black, nothing special about it. It's not even the leather ones, it's one of the plastic ones, but it just really just gets the dob, dob done, job done. Wow, Kevin pronunciation. Remember when I said um, I'm only carrying two bags? Oh, well, I lied. This is gonna be my third bag. This is just when I'm going outside and all that jazz. Uh, essentially, it's gonna be inside of my Monty um, cuz that's just that's just that's just how I roll man so it's this fucking bad boy right over here I haven't worn this in a bit but I am gonna be wearing it for the holiday this is obviously this is Comme de Garçon um, this is a vintage Tigger uh, sweatshirt that my girlfriend got me I'm just gonna be packing this just in case uh, the weather does get crazy and it gets like cold for some reason or if Caroline's cold I can just give her my sweater and we'll be good to go. This is pretty much my only like heavyweight item that I'm gonna be bringing. I might even bring like a jacket on the day of cuz um, Just fuck it cuz we're gonna be arriving kind of late. So yeah, so another one of my essentials I guess is just my journal slash planner Muji pen, awesome Muji pen, and Altoids, cause uh, because of the whole wi wisdom tooth thing, my breath has just been smelly, and it just hasn't been good. Um, I'm just waiting for life to get better, so um, I'm praying. I'm praying right now, man. Just fucking help me. Just kill me, actually. Just fucking end it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be bringing to Cancun with me, excluding some like some underwear and just my passport and other toiletry shit. I don't have fancy toiletry stuff. I just have like a Ziploc bag and I'm just putting everything in it. 
Yeah, I'm a basic bitch. What you gonna do about it, bitch? But yeah, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys next time. I might do a travel vlog. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, re remember fucking months, months, and months back when everybody's like, Kevin, you should do more vlogs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lack. I, I suck dick. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.